There's a serene little town, no, no, it may be, with bramble and green groves so plenty to see. So sweetly renowned is the ancient low to hostings is known as that. Behind every good man runs the old adage, there's a good woman. Well, behind Dubai Duty Free Executive Vice Chairman and CEO Colin McLaughlin, there's a great woman, his wife, Breeder. Today is Breeder McLaughlin's birthday, and given that she, like many of her friends around the world in the travel retail community, is in lockdown, in her case in Dubai, we decided to pay a short tribute to this remarkable woman, in words and a very special song, some of which you heard a moment ago. More of that in a moment. Now, Brida has never been on the payroll of Dubai Duty Free, yet she's been an integral part of its remarkable 37-year success story. One of 10 children from a family of modest means in a small Irish village, she now lives in one of the world's great metropolises, mixes with the biggest names in business, music, and sport, and features regularly in the social pages of the Dubai media. And yet she remains the most down-to-earth person you could hope to meet, and always optimistic, delightful, and most of all, a loving individual. Born Breeder Fox, she was raised just outside of the small village of Newmarket-on-Fergus in County Clare, population 1,773 in the last census. One of 10 children, five boys, and five girls. By the time the 10th was born, Breeder was 16. It was a big, close-knit and traditional Roman Catholic family. We did all kinds of jobs, she recalled to me once. The money was certainly scarce when you had all those brothers and sisters, some of them younger than you. So what did the young breeder aspire to from her life in small town Ireland? Well, there were two things I wanted to do, she replied. I wanted to see the world and I wanted a job where I would meet people all the time. Well, those wishes were granted first at Shannon Airport, starting place for so many outstanding Irish careers and travel retail. She started in the restaurant and grew to become manageress. Then the airport opened an Irish food store in the duty-free shop, where she became buyer and supervisor. That role lasted for around 12 years before a very different challenge and location beckoned. But in the intervening period, Rita had met one Colin McLaughlin, who came to Shannon Airport in 1969, a special assistant to the general manager, Freeport Shops. The two fell in love, married, and not long after, Colum joined a band of fellow Air Reenter executives on a fateful six-month consultancy at Dubai Airport to create what became Dubai Duty Free. It was a move that would transform their lives, transform many lives. Colum told me he had a contract to go to Dubai. I'd never heard of the place, Breeder recalled in an interview with me back in 2007. He went out on his own for the first six months, and I thought he'd be back permanently. Then they made him an offer he couldn't refuse. He resigned from Shannon and came out to Dubai. And so, therefore, eventually did the new Mrs. McLaughlin. Compared with the lush greenery of Atlantic West Coast Ireland, what was the Dubai of the early 1980s like? It was just sand, Breeder remembers. Back then, Dubai was only a dream. But Colum saw that dream. He said this was a place where it was going to happen. What was that first summer like? Unbelievable. It was as if you had opened a bakery oven and just sat in it. It was unreal. You'd leave your car outside the supermarket when they didn't have covered car parks and you couldn't hold the wheel in your hands when you got back in. All those years on, Dubai Duty Free, now the world's single biggest airport retailer. Her life a dizzying merry-go-round of social occasions at home and abroad. Is she still the same breeder McLaughlin that set out from West Ireland on that journey into the unknown? Absolutely, she said in that interview with me. The only one, by the way, she's ever done. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. I couldn't change. Well, she certainly hasn't. So we say happy birthday to this remarkable woman who has put her own unique and indelible stamp on one of the world's great business success stories. The great woman indeed, behind a great man. Oh, and I mentioned a song earlier. It's a lovely Irish tune written by Colum's father, Tighe, an official of the County Galway Council, and like his son, a staunch Irish patriot. It's called Ballinislow, the name of the town where Colum was born and raised in County Galway. So let's play out with a little more of that song. You might even catch a reference to Breeder. The sweet, smiling faces, 
the Irish Colleen, the ever-smiling woman who greets those many far distant callers who come from over the sea, from London and Boston, New York and Paris. Happy birthday, Breda. Many far distant callers from over the sea, from London and Boston, New York and Paris, in search of fair glances, the most of them go, so frequently seen in Berlin. Balance, no.